Chat, I want to point something out here. N notice how before I read the line about how he specializes in UI design and crafting en engaging experiences with great attention to detail. I noticed it myself just by hovering over stuff. I noticed it myself and I actively said he has great attention to detail. That is the whole purpose of a portfolio site. Welcome back to the eighth official portfolio roasting session. Today, we will be looking at your portfolio submitted through chat in the live stream, and we will be giving it a rating out of 30 based on hireability, aesthetic, and creativity. And at the very end, we will be voting on chat's favorite portfolio of the day and my favorite portfolio of the day. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a comment. It helps a lot with the algorithm. Okay, bro's looking clean. I'm Cooper, software engineer, web developer. Nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me move my camera or I guess I'll move the screen. This is like a little button down here. Meet Bear, my adventurous hamster. I right, bro, I only clicked it because it's like the, the most, it, it, it like stuck out. Average RPM, total rotations. Wait, I'm so, I thought this was like, so. It, did you, <laughs> did you code a website documenting your pet hamster's wheel activity? Because if so, you're hired, bro. At 1.47 p.m., his hamster was going crazy, bro. He was go he was almost doing one rotation per minute at 116, and he kept it up to 121. Bro's hamster was working out. Wait, he hit 135 rotations per minute on his hamster wheel? I feel like you don't do this justice by not even giving us a picture. We need to see what Bear looks like. I need a I need live video footage of Bear on this hamster wheel, bro. My hamster has run 441 miles, which is about 97% of the distance across Florida. That's such a weird statistic to include, but somehow it fits so perfectly. All right, I'm going home. So this is a part of your site. I don't think there needs to be this much text. And I also don't think we need a second picture. I'm not saying the picture's bad. I'm just saying, I don't think we need two pictures here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe have a picture of your hamster here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe put a picture of bear here. Check out my project on GitHub. Where are the links to your socials on GitHub? Okay, on one hand, you have a hamster wheel thing on your site. That's like insanity, right? That's sick. On the other hand, it doesn't seem like you've watched our previous portfolio streams because it doesn't look like you followed any of the advice from the other ones. There's a lot of stuff that's missing here. I don't know like a lot of stuff about what you actually do. I'm gonna go ahead and say higher ability. It's like middle of the line. Uh, aesthetic, I think aesthetic's middle of the line. I'm giving you an eight for creativity because I love the hamster thing. Let me put you on game, bro. Step one, fix up the hamster stats, okay? I wanna see real-time stats here. Step two, get a webcam in there and live stream it 24 seven. Step three, I wanna see pictures. I wanna know Bear's history. I wanna know everything about him. Step four, post that to Reddit. I'm gonna put you on game right now, bro. What you wanna do is you wanna clip you want to clip those live stream clips of your hamster. You know, when your hamster hits a new record of 135 RPM, you got to clip that and post that on TikTok. The people deserve to see that, bro. By the time I do my next portfolio stream, I want to see that stuff done, man. Stack developer located in Edmonton, Alberta. Whoa, this contact button is so big. Let me zoom in here for you guys. I like the top part. It sort of tells me... At everything I generally need to know about you, like you're a full stack developer, where you're based in, what your name is, what you do and your technologies. I don't think you need to take up this much, much space for your skills, uh, especially not before your projects. And for example, like a lot of space is being taken up here to like explain what the technology is. And a lot of the times, someone that's looking at your portfolio site is probably gonna be someone that already knows like most of this stuff. In terms of projects, like I like how you have the technologies you use and then I'll learn more, which brings up a little thing. This is pretty cool. I would say there are just things that take up some space that don't need to be here. Like, I don't think you need like this much space for your contact stuff. I think that can be condensed. You're a bit repetitive with the description. Also your skills take up a lot of um, room as well. I think if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of work experience, you probably wanna prioritize maybe showing stuff like your projects. So having it all the way scrolled down with other things that sort of take up more space might not make the most sense. But overall it's clean, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and say higher abilities like a seven. It's Pretty good for everything I need to find. Uh, in terms of aesthetic, also a seven, and creativity, like a seven. Wait, there's so many cursors on the screen. <laughs> there's so many different cursors on the screen. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like flag challenged, so I don't actually know what flag this is. Uh, when I opened the image in new tab, it the title, I guess you got from Wikipedia, the title is flag of Malaysia. So now I know what Malaysia's flag looks like. I don't think you need like a bunch of cursors here forever. I, I don't even think you need like the cursor thing, like the auto type thing. Like I get it's cool, but is this your leak code? 
People can link leak codes? Yeah. I don't know if it's worth submitting your leak code if you only have 11 things solved and half of them are easy problems. I don't know. As like a, like if I saw this and I was like trying to hire you, if I was a recruiter or if I was an engineer that was like about to have an interview with you and I wanted to get a bit of an idea about who you are and I saw this, I'd be like, oh, okay. All of this stuff is like really, his practice schedule is like inconsistent. I don't know. Is, is, is this like something he's taking seriously? Because it does not look like it. Um, so I think maybe linking your lead code actually sort of hurts in this case. And in terms of the site, like you posted your like GitHub contribution, like even your 2023 contributions, like looking at all of this, I don't know if this really makes me inclined to, to consider hiring you. I'm like, yeah, why is there such a big discrepancy? Like from January to July. And then like somehow in like August and October, things start picking up. I don't know. You're I, I'm only pick, like, normally I wouldn't look for any of this information, like someone's lead code profile or someone's like uh, GitHub contributions. But the fact that you're putting it in front of my face and you're like, check this out. But then in reality, it's like less than I think what the average person's might look like. That is, you know, passionate, quote, passionate about coding. Uh, it sort of gives up the wrong impression, not gonna lie. Every button that has source code is grayed out. You probably don't need any buttons for source code. I, a lot of these screenshots, I like that you have like the technologies and stuff you use, but a lot of these are like really basic, I guess. Um, and the screenshots don't really do it justice. There's no way to like make it bigger and there's no way to actually tell what's going on from the screenshots. If you've been a free stack, full stack, a freelance full stack developer, that's something that should be highlighted like immediately. The fact that you have um, real work experience is pretty important. Also, use bullet points. Don't use numberings for your experiences and stuff like that. Yeah, so I also don't really know what skills you really know other than looking at your projects. Um, yeah, this layout's like really weird. I don't know. As a full stack developer, I don't know if you're front end focused or back end focused. It's not really clear from the site and stuff like that. But if you are front end focused, there's a lot of like odd stuff here. Honestly speaking, like looking at this, I... I feel like I'm less inclined to hiring you. I know you're still a student. That's also not clear. I had to learn that from chat. I guess like I'm inclined to not hire you from looking at this website. You're, you put forward a lot of information that it, it's like if you were going to a fishing contest and you had like two fish and one fish was like a decent sized fish and that represents like your work experience and the fact that you're still a student. And then there's like this really tiny fish that's not that impressive. That's like your leak code profile on your GitHub. And the first thing you present at like the fishing contest is like the less impressive fish. It's like, you know, I don't know if that's the best way to present yourself. You know what I mean? I'm going to say for hireability, it's a three just because I feel like I would actively not hire you based on feeling this. Aesthetics, probably a four. And creativity is like maybe a, a five. It's like middle of the line. Yo, this is kind of nice. I'm Dewey. It is pretty sick that you put the pronunciation here because as soon as I looked at your name, like... I didn't actually know how to pronounce it. See, I like small details like this where you hover over something. Whoa, that was crazy. Look at this. When you hover over his face, it like changes the image. This is like the cool attention to the de to detail I like. Like it's not animations that are just the same animations that everyone has. And it's just like in your face. It's like these small things that you like discover as you use the site. And it's like, okay, I love this attention to detail. You know what I'm saying? This is cool. I'm a creative web developer and your name, uh, and where you're based in, that's good. I'm a creative web developer with five years of experience. I specialize in UI design and crafting engaging experience with a great attention to detail. Dude, chat, I want to point something out here. N notice how before I read the line about how he specializes in UI design and crafting en engaging experiences with great attention to detail. I noticed it myself. Just by hovering over stuff, I noticed it myself and I actively said he has great attention to detail. That is the whole purpose of a portfolio site. It is... The fact that through your code, you can put things and ideas about what you specialize in and, and what your skills are as a developer without having to put them into words and having to have me read it as a bullet point on your resume. I understood this about Dewey before even reading the line where he specifically mentioned it. That is like the purpose of a portfolio site. That That is what... The whole idea behind it is. I dedicate much of my time to exploring open source projects, learn how things are built, enjoy answering things. These are program languages and libraries I'm currently using. Cool. I'm debating on whether or not like you need this much text or not, or whether it's a good idea to like show this much text. I, I didn't know you were interested in open source projects. Maybe you'll show me in the project section below and you could have replaced it. Uh, but let's see. Recent projects, real-time Sudoku. Wait, this sounds amazing. 
This sounds really fun. If I send it to chat, is that going to be like too chaotic? This is a medium puzzle. I feel like this thing's already fully fold in. Oh my God. We're getting people coming. I want to. Oh, Jesus. All right. I realized some people would like be degenerates in the chat. See, bro, this is why we can't have nice things, man. Can I hide chat somehow? One guy in chat ruined it, bro. One guy in chat had to ruin it, bro. Oh, what is this? Oh no, dude. I hope you have some filtering. I hope you have better filtering on this than you had on your port on your Sudoku site, bro. Because people are going to go wild on this. I heart your sight i'm sorry for the flood of bad messages people will oh i'm sorry for the flood of messages from people <laughs> all right chat show some love bro show some love great dude i want to hire you i'm giving you like an 8.5 for hireability here's what could have been improved i wish there was some more examples of tangible things you've done. You said you enjoy contributing to open source projects and stuff like that. I'd love to see those open source projects. I know you have your actual projects here. But yeah, like this Sudoku thing was amazing. I thought it was really impressive. Um, I really enjoyed the attention to detail you added here as well. I don't know if you have work experience or not. I'm guessing you don't, which is why there was none on there. In terms of aesthetic, I also enjoy the aesthetic. I'm going to put this in an eight and creativity like an eight as well. Wow. Mr. Miguel, web developer. Learn more about me. What does this do? No, please tell me it does something, right? No, no, please. I was enjoying the aesthetic of this site. Please don't tell me the learn more about me button is broken. I was like, man, I really like how you can like, wait, how does this work? You have to like triple click. I guess when you double click, it has a little background animation. But I was like, okay, I'm liking the way this looks. And it's like, learn more about me. I feel like I can scroll by myself because last week we saw one that auto scrolls for you when you click it. But this one just doesn't do anything when you click it. Very sad. Um, okay, these buttons, your GitHub, your Figma, interesting. Um, your LinkedIn and your resume could probably be a bit higher. I also want to know where you're based in. Uh, projects, 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 cool. Yo, I swear to God, I've never seen this before today, but everyone is like describing the technology now. It's not even just like the icon and the name. Three out of five of our last portfolios, which I've never seen before, has added like the descriptions these actually do. Like, I'm not complaining. I just find it's like an interesting trend. My projects and contributions. Uh, why is this one like highlighted? Oh, okay, always open. Link in new tab, please. Oh, okay. So this isn't done yet. There's some like missing pieces here, right? Education. Cool. We got the sort of Ted looking switcher. Sorry. I thought this had experience for a second. I didn't realize this was education. Like what you did in school. Excelling in primary school. I attended. Okay. See, here's what I want you to know. As soon as I saw excelling in primary school, my first thought was like everyone goes to primary school and anyone can say they excelled. And then you like answered that, right? I attended primary school like everyone else. Usually if it's something that you've done like everyone else, it's probably not worth, I don't know, like putting here. I don't know. Forming key friendships in secondary school. I, I mean, I'm happy for you that you did that, right? I'm glad that you had that experience. But I don't know if it has to be on your portfolio say, You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if I'd put like, you know made friends and stuff like that on my portfolio site modding turned into cheating wait what modding expanded so like you're curious about how game cheats and hacks works i began exploring these mechanics and experimenting with various games fbi this is him this is the man right here fbi he is the one that developed that cheat for minecraft competitive fbi this is the guy that's been map hacking in all my league games about me dot title okay i'm conflicted i'm conflicted with this one because look you have some aspects of this that are great but then some other aspects that are just unpolished and just unfinished and then sort of weird. So I was going to rate this like pretty highly at the beginning. I think higher ability right now is probably like a 5.5. I like what you did the skills and stuff like that. But there's so much useless information. I don't know. Um, aesthetic, I'm going to give it a 7. I like the aesthetic. And creativity, I'm going to give it like also a probably like a 7 as well. Irrelevant, but I was pretty good with crayons in kindergarten. <laughs> okay, so this is like literally like oh oh okay we've seen a lot of people do windows but i've not seen anyone do mac the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to make a new folder all right maybe that was the wrong thing to do i guess that function has not built in i'm gonna click get info that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click get info okay that doesn't work all right i'm gonna try show okay I'm going to try change desktop background and i'm not just saying that because i saw it in chat i'm saying that because it's the last option for what i can do hello please Bro, 
no right clicks? Wait, but you told me to try the wall. Oh, you said try the wallpaper app instead of right clicking. All right, all right. Let's start over and let's pretend I didn't right click at all. All right. We're, we're just going to pretend I didn't right click. All right. Um, <clears throat> about this Mac. Okay. <laughs> my, that's not bad. Honestly, that's my fault. The first two things I tried doing were right clicking and using these option things. I'm going to just pretend I never tried any of those. We're going to go straight to the dock. We're, let's start over. Let's start over. Yo, this guy recreated Mac OS. We've seen people do this with Windows. I'm going to try out all the apps down here. Okay, pretty sick. I'm able to cycle it through and stuff like that. Yo, why don't we try checking out the wallpaper app, guys? Okay. Wow, this is sick. Look at this. <laughs> don't be fooled. This is an identical replica of Mac OS chat. Everything works. All right. That is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. The wallpaper thing is pretty cool. Oh, oh, chat. Look at the look at the calculator app. Wait, the buttons don't work here either. No, I, now I have to edit that out of the script. Now, chat, I'm not going to click on the calculator app because we know the calculator app is going to work. All right. We, we know calculators. I don't even have to check it. Uh, calendar. Look at that. Works like a charm. VS Code. Oh my goodness. Wait, you can... Pre so wait, you, you mean to tell me you have a whole working VS Code preview in here, but the calculator app doesn't work? <laughs> okay, maybe the other... Maybe the preview doesn't work. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right what else we got? About the developer. All right. Um... I sort of hate how I can't resize the screen. It's not going to lie. Oh, and this takes you to like an actual portfolio site. Okay. But we are not rating that one. Um, bro put so much effort and work into making the wallpaper app look as beautiful as possible. But then the his GitHub link didn't work. <laughs> I'll forgive it. I'll forgive it. Only because that wallpaper app was fire. You know what I'm saying? Powered by Versal. Oh my goodness. It linked to my Versal profile, bro. Don't link to... Don't... Don't link to your, your dashboard on Versal, okay? The one link that works and it takes me to my Versal dashboard. All right, here's where we are, right? Creativity is a 10. It's obviously a 10, right? Creativity is obviously a 10. Aesthetic is obviously going to be like a, an eight or something, right? Can we even give aesthetic like an eight? I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight, a 7.5. I'm gonna give 7.5 just because I couldn't like resize things. And there were a lot of misleading, functionalities you know what i'm saying a lot of misleading functionalities and stuff like that in terms of hireability i'm gonna give it like a 6.5 i think it's impressive that you did it but i couldn't even go to your github you know, you know what i'm saying i think once things are cleaned up a bit obviously the score for that will be a bit higher all right chat it is now time for you guys to vote on your favorite of the day we have dewey's over here with the very nice attention to detail portfolio we have the mac os web one which is a totally functioning 100 functioning uh mac os clone then we have collins who had a nice clean portfolio and finally miguel's which was pretty cool missing a bit of information but the ui was nice chat you have voted it, it looks like with 50% of the vote, Dewey is going to take it. And I wholeheartedly agree. It was also my streamer favorite of the day as well. So congratulations to Dewey. And if you guys want to get your portfolio stream, make sure you show up on Thursdays to our portfolio roasting session. If you guys want to chat with everyone else and maybe get the community to roast your portfolio, check out our Discord community below where we have a bunch of engineers that like to do stuff like that. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps a ton with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video.